Geminates, Cal Infinitive Construct. Okay, what can we say about an infinitive construct? The first and most obvious thing is that it is identical to the imperative, which is just like the strong verbs, picode, picode, okay, and, and of course many other verbs as well, many other forms, not just the strong ones. So that's consistent. So the infinitive construct looks like the imperative masculine singular. Now with pronominal suffixes, the holum reduces to kibbutz, and a dagesh forte appears. So we have sov, and if you add the one cs suffix, e, then it becomes subi. Okay, so the holum has reduced to a kibbutz. So you need to know this, or you, we need to be aware of this so that you recognize it. Otherwise it may look like something very different. Um, and then we have the dagesh forte appearing because we now have a suffix. We couldn't have the dagesh forte here because it was at the end of the word. Now the hollow verbs, kum, for instance, when you add pronominal suffixes to the infinitive construct of kum, which is kum, uh, you don't get reduction because you have a mater. You can't reduce the u or the e on, on, uh, on seam, but you can reduce the holum. This is not a mater. So if you add the 2ms suffix, the ha, you get subeha, so reduction, and you see the dagesh forte there, and you get subenu when you add the nu, the, uh, the one cs the one CP suffix, one common plural. So you have reduction to U, may look a little different. The dagesh forte, though, in your second letter should give you a hint that you've got germination happening.